Hey everyone, Albert Flynn de Silver here, author of Writing as a Path to Awakening from Sounds True, the memoir Beamish Boy, and several books of poems. Thank you so much for being here on the YouTube channel. Really appreciate you uh, commenting and liking. These videos are helpful and supportive to you. Feel free to subscribe and to share. This helps us continue to bring awesome content to you every week. And today, I wanted to talk about confidence. Confidence as a writer. What does this mean? How do we get it? How do we keep it going? And this from somebody who had really low self-esteem, uh, no confidence whatsoever for the longest time. And I built confidence over time in these four ways. So I just want to share with you in this video just four different ways of working with confidence, of building your confidence as a writer. And the first is simply showing up, <laughs> right? Just being there, showing up, celebrating presence, celebrating the blank page and being willing to scribble into it with whatever's there at the moment in your heart and mind without judgment, but just showing up and being present. Now remember, Reading is writing, writing is reading, editing is writing, writing is editing is reading is writing. These are all, the, I call them the holy trinity. These are the three elements that really exist as one. This is writing. And to interweave these together uh, at different times, mind you, uh, is to understand writing in a larger context and a gateway to building confidence. So of course the first thing is to show up for the page and for your heart, for showing up for your story. Um, the second thing is really what I call the secret, which is to show up when you don't want to, to do the writing when you don't want, when you don't feel like it, when there's no inspiration. And if you can push through that resistance, this will build confidence. I mean think about it in regards to exercise. It's not that different. You know, there's some mornings you just don't want to exercise, but you show up anyways, and you press through the discomfort, and you feel better a couple hours later. You feel more energized, you feel more alive, you feel stronger. Same thing with the writing. So pushing through that resistance is key. Now the next thing is repetition. Making it a habit showing up again and again and again, knowing that each time that you do show up, you have new knowledge. You have evolved on some level. You have had new dreams in the night. You have read a new book. You have some new thought, new idea, new experience that will serve your writing in whatever way. Consistency wins every single time, and this builds confidence in you as a writer, as a human being. And the fourth thing is celebration. Celebrate the little wins. This will carry you forth when it is uncomfortable. Um, just like consciously celebrate them. Don't just be like, oh yeah, that was cool. <laughs> but like really celebrate them, you know? Um, make yourself a nice meal. Um, you know, write about that celebration on some level. Um, treat yourself well. Uh, make a note of it so that you realize, you associate this meeting the page and this writing practice with celebration. After a while, this becomes habit. This builds confidence because you start to see the evolution. You start to see the growth. And this makes all the difference in the world because you keep going and you keep seeing the expansion. And this is worth celebrating. And I see this over and over and over again in our program, in the Mindful Authors Accelerator. People who show up, do the work, and are consistent are having extraordinary results. And that's for this very reason. They're building confidence through their engagement, through the repetition, through consistency. And so I hope this is helpful. And I want to thank you so much again for subscribing or commenting below. Uh, liking this, sharing this video if it serves you in any way. Till next time, live well, love well, and write well, and we look forward to seeing you soon.